Hello everybody, my name is Takreva and welcome back to some more European Universalis for playing as Germany. Currently in a war with Switzerland and Ferrara, no, Genoa, who, who owns Ferrara. Um, there's also some Venetians in here somewhere. They're also at war with them, but that shouldn't be too big of an issue really for us. Maybe in the near future we can actually take over Venice as well. Uh, currently, the plan is to just uh, siege up uh, Switzerland and vassalize it. And apparently Naples is also in this one somewhere. Oh, Lombardia lost a pretty big fight, actually. Great dispute against Russia. Well, we do have the uh, non-usual um, Russia in the sense that it's... Uh, Actually, Novgorod that formed it instead of Muscovy, which is quite rare, actually. Doesn't happen very often. Anyway, uh, let's see. We could build some constable. Wow, not many constables left to build, actually. They do cost uh, admin power, I believe. Yeah, which is not what I want to spend <laughs> right now. Rather spend military points because we are quite... Uh, Trade dispute against Spain was lost. Interesting. Because we have very high military power compared to the amount of uh, needed for next tax. I'm just trying to get some more barracks going here. We have enough money to actually do this for a change. Oh, 56 here. Posing not bad. Uh, up here, not as much worth really. I'll pick up the two islands here, Lolland and Bornholm. So, yeah, it's mostly just waiting for these sieges to finish, really. Rule the seas. We have enough heavy ships. If they all need to go to Geldern. So we have most heavy ships in the world now. Especially because we had a chance to clear all of the French ships that made that possible. The ships or claim Zurich. Well, claiming Zurich is perfectly fine. So diplomacy, covert actions, fabricate a claim on Zurich. Whoa, yeah, we will get discovered really. Very likely. Um, we can get debt and loans, less interest on our loans. I'm just gonna finish up economic before moving on. One the siege of Ferrara. Which, oh, oh good, Great Britain is actually useful for a change. <laughs> They're actually useful here. Okay, where's half my army at? Or is this just the other part of, uh... I mean, there's the 29, right now at least, 29 stank. Oh, they're in Cuneo. Well, let's send them also to Salzburg. Just get everyone together for now. Um, you have troops in foreign territory. Well, they're moving home. Shouldn't be long. Now it goes away. Now it comes back again. I really should have taken to roll in that last war. Really should. So how much is this now? Only plus five? Yeah, I'll do it then. Covered way. Let's us build level... Uh, oh, good. First siege done over here. Let's us build level seven fortresses, but... It's very unlikely we'll ever build any of these because, to be frank, the special buildings up here are much more useful. Overall. So, 26% worse corner. Wow, they were at minus 21% just a few months ago when I first saw them here, actually. It's surprising. So at least that siege will go to our side of the war compared to uh, what Venice is doing. But they're also at war with Naples, so they could go to Naples, actually. Let's siege some stuff there as well. Mantua, yeah, we're definitely going to feed Ferrara to Mantua. Um, I can, of course, give them the siege itself. Gained imperialism against Corsica. What happened? What did the peace do? See, Travis or Venice will release Corsica as a foreign state. Um, well, while well, Britain is actually there, 
Might as well simply... Oh, that would be an interesting war, getting Portugal as well into it. But Great Britain would not join the war, and that's actually what we need for them to actually start sieging that stuff. So, yeah. But this gives us possibilities regarding uh, Genoa, because Ligeria is actually being sieged by my vassal slash uh, personal union people. So maybe if we can get Liguria as a part of Genoa as well. I cannot make a separate piece, I believe, yeah. So we need to take that all in one go. We weren't even discovered, I think. Take Zeps is the next goal, which is against Poland. If we were to declare war on Poland, they would call in Austria, Bavaria and Lithuania. Uh, Portugal will not accept this war because probably too distant. Attitude towards enemies. That's barely, actually, barely a good choice for them. Wow, they don't like Poland or me, or they like me. I think that's the deal. Um, they don't hate me, so there's that. Well, actually, improve relations. I believe I have enough diplomats to do that. Yeah, definitely. Augsburg is actually quite high, but that is because we're in a war together. So that doesn't help a lot. That would be 8,000 there, would be Graubünden. Okay, I see my vassals going for that, and Great Britain as well. I'm not gonna bother crushing the rebels if uh, Rheinlander Patriots probably going to bring it back to Switzerland themselves. Yeah, since this is my only mission, I might as well accept it. But I would like some more manpower before I actually do that, though. Um, I could claim more stuff. Recruitment time up. Yeah, for five years. That is not the worst thing in the world. We should now block. Exigia, Sandomiers, Krakow, Pest, Somogy. Yeah, basically everything we border except for Sheps is currently not a claim. Uh, is there anything lower than 5, almost 6%? No, not really. Bihar is all the way there. Wow. Um, I'll claim Krakow for now. It's probably the most expensive one to do. 12 base tax. Jesus. But I might as well try. Yeah, they cleared the rebels. Perfectly fine there. Yeah, they have seven cannons. It's not like eight more cannons is going to be that effective if we add those. Let's actually see if we could for some strange reason. Well, we can easily annex or vassalize them. Return core for our to Mantua, obviously. Won the Siege of Bern, which... Oh, yeah. We do still need Nigeria. Damn, that just went from minus to plus 28. Some really fast. And there's 35 now. Yeah, that's, that one is almost going to be happening. Yeah, I know we have some people. Oh, level 23 Diplo. I'm in the middle of a war, so I should not do that just yet. This is my main fleet. Um, we are, we have got our trade fleet now active. Baltic Sea, but everything is still being transported down by Scandinavia anyway, so... Because, well, me and Scandinavia together own the entire node, so... I think it's actually best if I send these to uh, Novgorod. Plus 12 downstream. But most of the money is already being poured out of the North Sea our way. Yeah, I'm gonna send them to Novgorod. So right now we are gaining how much from trade? 113. Currently transporting 4, now it's 11. Yeah, that's an 8 ducat increase in income. I like it. I like it very much. Oh, no one told me that uh, they'd finished their siege, but that's good anyway. I could just vassalize both of them, piss off everyone. It's not bad. Um... Return core Ferrara to Mantua, obviously. They would still hate me for vassalizing uh, Genoa. 
You don't really need them to become a vassal. I cannot just uh, take anything else. So this is only 11.7, which is really easy to handle. Or reparations and stuff is not possible at all because we're not... Yeah, because the deal is with uh, Switzerland and not with anyone else. Uh, I can take some money. don't really want them to get a loan, though. But I think the 200 is fine. I know Switzerland is my vassal. Easy pickings, provincial unrest, Brabant and Antorf. Almost gone though, almost gone. So, what does that do for this region? Well, the light blue is all my vassal. Pretty good. And this darker blue is my ally. Well, um, we're at max prestige anyway, so... Yeah, we'll gain uh, discipline for six years. I like it. Um, complaints about big... I'll rather lose the prestige then, if that's the case. Holy crap. So, my manpower instantly recovering because we didn't lose that many troops just now. Master of the Min died. I'll have to hire someone new again. Declare war. Portugal would still not join because they like me too much and they're in a war themselves. So that would be Austria, handleable. Uh, Lithuania, Poland, and who else? Bavaria. Well, Bavaria is probably the easiest one in that group to take care of. So, plus three, another Master of the Mint. Hmm. I think a plus two is fine. So, I'll pick... Karl Josef Francis, the natural scientist. Um, yeah, sure. I'll pick up the tech now. Next one would be possible in four years, actually. That's not bad. Lose a lot of money for 33 if ever all points. Well, better than losing stability, really. I think it's that stability. I've set prestige. Mm, well, fair enough. It's still decent to get that many points. Uh, we still have many military points that I will have to spend at some point. A uh, recall from Portugal. So that would be a war against Austria, which does have a couple of big armies, to be fair. Not as big as ours, obviously. We have enough troops as it stands. I could actually finish this, almost finish this army as being a really good one. So I'll split off one of the infantry units here. And there we go. Now that leaves us with two cavalry and eight cannons to be built. I'll just do this easy and make a new template again. One, two, and eight of these, as many provinces as possible. Uh, addition four, just, just something. And we'll just drop it all on Lutich. Uh, yeah, Lutich. Um, oh yeah, this is Liège and this is Limburg. I was like, kind of confused a little bit there. And, you know, this is simply, well, the lowlands. I, sh I know most of this area. So... Still 159, but really close to being able to actually annex them. Rest of expansion going up, came to the defense of the empire going down, but annexed vassal going up as well. Our total relation, that is. Chov Choveni. Where the hell is this? Siberian clan council. That's all the way up here, then. Chov Choveni. That's them. Well, Muscovy has grown again, but they only have Nizhny Novgorod left in the west, and the rest is Russia. Crimea, what are you doing? Going all the way to Vladimir, wow. Not bad. So let's actually look at the military might in the world again. Yeah, top dog by far. Going to be 200,000 very soon as well. France only down to 94,000. We could easily get, just waste them again if we need to. Poland, 62,000. Lithuanian, that's almost the entire Lithuanian army right here. 
with a very bad leader at that. Austria 66,000. So the total against them would actually be... So this is actually... The, these two armies are the only ones that Austria has. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pull you back to... That's... Well, to Riga, that's fine. Cow needs some more... The level 4, so we actually have some more support limit over there. How are my um, other buildings coming along? Oh, we've actually finished them, which means we can finally have a training field again in Memmingen. Huzzah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our, our border with France is a lot more fortified than all the other borders. Pretty much. So there's that. Um, barracks. See, we don't have that many barracks left to build. It's so tempting to do that. Anyone? Oh, Wittenberg, 49. That's useful. Ermland, Wistruck. Mm. Yeah, that's everything on 49 anyway, right now. Could build a stock exchange in Semlin. That's useful. Cathedrals. Wow, we have one cathedral and all these provinces where we can also build them. So AI likes those money-making buildings pretty much. No leader here right now. Okay, that's actually a very easy army to crush because they don't have any... Yeah, I think... What I need is an army to strike directly at the Vienna army. You guys get together, I'm gonna get another general. 4-3 is not bad, but not good either. I will send someone to Meren. I'm just getting ready for the next war, basically. I'm gonna let my vassals do most of the, most of the sieging, while we crush the army straight up. And the best part is, of course, uh, Zurich is a Swiss core, uh, Breisgau is a Swiss core, Baden is not. So there are at least two Swiss cores we can give back to Switzerland. So there's that. And these are all just Austrian cores, sadly. Yeah, we do have some more claims here, which is good, especially Tyrol. Yeah, I would like Tyrol. So who are the allies of S Austria? Poland, Brittany, Spain. Ooh, I don't want to go to war with Spain, though. Possible advisors, plus one. Two more left. Nationalistic enthusiasm and Smithian economics. Well, what I will want to do before I start the war is fabricate another claim. So we have Krakow and ships, or zippies. Um, you know what? I'm just going to go for broke and just split Poland up in two. Because that's a lot more hilarious than anything else. 3-6 versus... No, yeah. Actually, I, I kind of need my bigger general over here. This guy is my best general. Oh, that was this one as well. So yeah, because they have new leader here, but that's mostly a cannon army. That should be dealable. Tonight's nearly finished. Um, maybe I should put a claim on something in Lithuania as well. Yeah, of course, reduce investments in the military because we're already so far ahead. So fabricate a claim on... Vilnius is their cap. Yeah, this is a problem. I do not want to have really weird looking borders and taking anything from Lithuania will just make it worse. The only thing we could take is Vilnius, but Vilnius just happens to be their capital. Okay, I'd rather just fabricate a claim on Austria then. And why not on Lothringen? Namen we have, we have no Hennegau. We have a claim on Baden, which is nice. We have a claim on most of... Uh, oh, it's actually really expensive to claim anything. Or at least a high chance of being discovered. I'll just claim Namen. That should be fine. Um, yeah, this army is just getting ready for any Polish troops that decide to cross the border. Because I'm first obviously going to take care of Austria before doing anything else. I'm not as scared of Austria as I am of uh, the others in this uh, coming war. 
You know what? Just gonna send you to count already. You're a three six versus a one four. That is easily doable. And that's in their capital, but it's plains. There's no river crossing going on here. So that should be fine. All right, we're about to declare war on these guys. Yeah, I get that you suffer casualties. So take ships. Um, is that's also my mission? So all provinces seventy five percent diplo power. Take ships hundred percent. So actually imperialism is more worthwhile. Uh, and Crimea will join the war as well. That's actually a very interesting one. I did not realize that. So uh, we'll not be called. We cannot do that because of truce and stuff. For final check, Lithuania's ally is only Poland, so I can easily make them a co-belligerent in this war. Just for the sake of things. They won't call in anyone else. They cannot call in anyone else. Declare the war. You need to go instantly there. You need to go here. You need to go. Oh, they're not yet joined. They joined now. And uh, let's see. Three, four, five. Yep, they have no leader here, so that's easy pickings. Oh yeah, that's also an army that's running around here. Battle of Bryskau was won. That was extremely quick. I'm going to leave the sieging to my vassals for now. And sending these guys further east. Because there's still the Polish army to take care of. Anyway, I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. Ah, these two are actually vassals of these guys. Seriously, guys? They got away. Then I'm going to force march right after them. I'll see you guys later.